All right, I'm in one of the bayous that empties into Eastern Lake Pontchartrain. This time of year, the white trout and speckled trout tend to stack up in these bayous. So I'm gonna see if it's happening yet. All right, as you can tell, it's early. This putt putty getting out here, so I didn't have to run. Tide is just beginning to rise. Cannot tell what water clarity is. I'm hoping it's good. It's usually good in these bayous, usually tannic. Shad are popping all around me. Or flipping, I guess. Shad don't really pop, but that's why these fish are in here, the shad and the shrimp. All right, before the sun gets too high, I've ducked into this little bayou. I'm gonna throw an H2O Express TWP. Caught some bass in this bayou before on this bait. Unfortunately, as you can see, it's full of salvinia. I might limit my ability to throw this today. Ooh, there's a bass that hit on top. Didn't hit on me, but he hit on top. I would definitely prefer this tide to be falling for this pattern, but I've caught him on a rise before. And it's really racing in. And that should help us with the trout. Let me try for those in a minute. All right, so far the bass are not biting, but mosquitoes and deer flies definitely are. <laughs> time for some skeeter hawk. This time of year, it only the dock without this stuff. Worth its weight in gold. Not gonna give the bass too much longer. Oh, maybe I will. <laughs> maybe I will. This is this is a world class. This is a Bassmaster Classic winner here. Hoo hoo hoo. Obviously not a trophy, but it's a fish on top. And those are always fun. Ooh, there's another one. There's another one. Same spot. All right. All right. Oh, that tide's pushing us in there. Sadly, because I bet it's not the only fish. There we go. Three in a row in the same spot. <laughs> the bass are seldom big in this area, but it's nice to catch a few. Bass fishing has been really, really tough in South Louisiana this year, at least this summer. It's been so hot, not much rain, salinities are way up. We'll see what happens this fall when temps cool. Hopefully some bass show up here and there, but it's possible it might be a lean couple of years. They struggle when salinities get this high. When I come here this time of year, I like to do this before I trout fish, just to kind of kill time. It's kind of crazy to say. I don't know why this is the case, but the trout don't bite at first daylight. They just don't. I don't know if they can't see the bait well or, or what it is. You need that sun to get up for the trout to start biting. I mean, that's not true everywhere, obviously, but I've just found it to be true in these bayous this time of year. And you know I'm gonna get here early, always. Can't sleep night before fishing trips. It's rare that my alarm wakes me up. My body clock wakes me up. Time to go fishing. This salvinia is just really limiting where I can throw. I'd really like to throw to that point, but I can't. I like to throw in this deep bend, but I can't. I'm throwing kind of out here in the middle where I'm least likely to catch a fish. <laughs> a bit of good news, mosquito hawk has solved my bug problem. Completely leave me alone now. All right, as you can see, that sun's already up and the trout are starting to call my name. So I'm gonna work my way out of this bayou. Hopefully run across another bass or two. If not, I'll be fishing trout in just a moment. Look at that, look at that bass chasing a shrimp. That's awesome. That just shows you that, I mean, if we could just cast in there, we just can't. Probably be a good place to throw a frog. I don't have one tied up though. Oh, look at that. He got it, I threw right on his head. And he couldn't resist. <laughs> you revealed yourself, dude. <laughs> yeah, these bass are small, but you know, I equate it with throwing fly rod poppers to brim. That's a lot of fun. Not big fish. It's okay. I don't know if you could see that white shrimp, but it was certainly a lot smaller than my TWP. That bass didn't care though. Nope, another bass chasing a shrimp. Yeah, wasn't the best cast. Another one. Look at that. Look, look, look at that. He got it. Look, look, there's another one. A lot of eelgrass in here as well, which I love. Love eelgrass. All right, it's just too many bass hitting in the salvinia. So I'm gonna throw a matrix craw up on top of it. Might be too big of a bait considering the size of these bass, but maybe we'll luck into a nice one. Ooh. Ooh. 
that's it just right here in this clean area oh there he is another trophy another world-class fish There's another one. There's another one. <laughs> Just too much fun. Too much fun. How could fish this small be this fun? Man, there's bass hitting all over in here. <laughs> it's like I don't even know where to cast next. Big shrimp just popped. Oh, he hit it and missed it. I saw him hit it. Look at that. Look at that shrimp. That's a good shrimp. All right, Matrix Craw is not the right bait. Too big and bulky. So I put on a fluke. Looks more like a shrimp. There he is. Yep, the fluke was the right bait. Actually, a much nicer bass on the fluke. It was not a fluke. Doesn't look like a typical marsh bass. It's long and skinny. Normally fatter than that. Ooh! <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> I made a bad cast, let it in the canes, and was just fast retrieving it, and fish came up right here smacked it hit it on top probably the smallest fish of the day probably also the most aggressive look at that that was definitely a bass they're going crazy in here fish get completely completely stupid when there are white shrimp around speckled trout bass redfish you name it it's one of the reasons i love fall many reasons i love fall but that's one of the big ones all right i could probably sit and do this for the next hour or so but i really want to go catch some trout so i'm gonna call the bass venture done let's see if we can catch some speckled trout and white trout catching yet? uh i caught a few bass back here a little though yeah. no, trout yet, huh? no i haven't really tried how about you all right now we're starting with the trout venture just a matter of figuring out where these fish are obviously my first trip here this year not that it matters. I could come tomorrow and find them in a completely different place than I find them today, which I hope I do find them today. You never know. By the way, I'm throwing a Salt Strong Power Prawn in natural color. This is a three and a half inch. I've got that on a quarter ounce Death Grip jig head. I've got 16 pound fluoro leader, which may be a little heavy because this water is really pretty. Of course, I brought my ultralight, so I'll switch to that if I find I get a bunch of bites, but not a lot of connections, or if I don't get any bites definitely find that line visibility line diameter makes a big difference in pretty water like this oh goodness i got smoked i got smoked how did i miss that fish well positive development Oh, there's a fish. All right. Oh, I missed him. Dadgummit. All right. A couple of bites. That one was a hookup. Felt like a pretty decent trout, too. Of course, you never know. Those white trout hit really hard and fight hard for about the first two seconds. <laughs> and then they just give up. They're the goggle eyes of salt water. Oh, there's one. Let's see if we get to see him. He doesn't feel as big. It's a whitey though, he's going in the box. Nope, spec, actually, he's a keeper. Keeper spec, there we go. There we go. Croaking male, all right. There we go. 
I think for the most part, these are fish that spent the summer inside. They weren't mature, didn't move outside in the spring to go spawn, but obviously they grow throughout the summer quickly. So now they're big, or at least legal, and they'll keep growing, getting fat, and definitely move out next spring. But there are fish that join them that are certainly fish that came from outside. Every now and then you'll catch like a 15, 16 incher, and you know that's not a fish that spent the summer in the marsh. Oh, another bite. You do have to be really quick on the draw doing this. These fish spit the bait as quickly as they hit it. Just a function of fishing in September with artificials. Using live bait, they wouldn't spit it. Oh, there's a fish. And is that a whitey? No, that's a speck. <laughs> that's another speck. He hit me on the on the retrieve, which might tell me something, but this dude's definitely not legal. Alright, bomb this area pretty good with both my bait caster and this ultralight, but only two specs. I'm gonna make a move. Thought I might have something going. Got a hit on back-to-back -back cast, but couldn't make it happen again. All right, I made another move. This is definitely the most amount of bait I've seen. That's that's good. Definitely got me feeling optimistic. That's what I was hoping to find. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. I mean, we hooked him in the tail, but it's a sign of some trout down there. This is a whitey, of course. Super small fish, but I kept him because there's his air bladder, so he would absolutely die. Oh, there's one. Feels pretty decent. Not sure though. Not sure. No, good speckle trout. There we go. All right, good trout. Now that could be a fish that went outside and spawned. Who knows? About a 14 incher. That fish did not fight like a trout. Oh goodness, it hit me on the way in. Oh, another hit. Oh, got my tail. Gotta change baits. Got my tail. There's one. Oh, baby. Little baby. Where's your daddy? Croaking male. Feisty full of testosterone. I remember those days. <laughs> there he is. All right. Another speck. Also a keeper. Barely, I'm betting. I'm betting like 12 and a quarter. We're going to take a look though. Long, skinny fish. Very typical for September. Very typical. They're wide in the back, <laughs> but they've got nothing in their belly. 12 and a quarter. Oh, shoot, I missed him. And that's why I missed him. Hooked my own tail. Hooked my own tail, buried in the plastic. Daggummit. Hate when that happens. Oh, fish on already. Oh, shoot, came off. There's another one. There's a million down there. Ooh, that's a good speckled trout. That's a good speckled trout. Uh-huh. That's an outside spawner. Yes, yes. That's a pretty fish. 15 incher. This power prawn, I tell you what, it just works so well this time of year. Love this bait. The company that makes them salt strong lets me offer 40% discount. I got a link in the video description if you want to order some. They're not very expensive, but you still get 40% off. Great deal. And it's well worth it when that's what the fish are biting on. And that's what happened last year. It's the only thing I could catch them on. Now, I haven't tried anything else in this exact spot. They may bite absolutely everything. I have no idea. But I'm not going to change <laughs> for obvious reasons. There's one. There's one. 
Another speck. Going crazy. Another good speck, goodness. <laughs> oh man, is this a sight for sore eyes. After a long, hot, miserable summer, this is a chunky, chunky trout. Big, fat trout, look at that. It's gonna be two beautiful fillets on him. Now, most of these bites are pretty subtle. I mean, you've really got to have good equipment. I say it all the time, but it's so important. Overlooked by so many anglers. This is a medium power Akuma tournament concept. If I ever run across a rod I like more than this one, I'll be shocked. Absolutely love it for this style of fishing. Just perfect. Perfectly designed for this style of fishing. Now, it's the crankbait and jerkbait rod, but I don't use it for a crankbait or a jerkbait. I use it for deep jigging. This rod's incredibly light and it's super sensitive. Mm-hmm. Yep, I knew it. I knew I had a bite on that cast. Got a scale. Oh, goodness. Hit right away. This rising tide is winning the battle with the wind. Pushed the back of my boat toward where the fish are biting. So I had to come to the back of the boat. There's one. Goodness. Man, it's a nice trout. Stay in the boat, dude. Good Lord. Oh, he's throwing up. All Look at that. There's a shrimp. Two shrimp. All right, we know what they're eating. <laughs> That's why they like this power prawn. Beautiful, beautiful speckled trout. September, I will take it. I will take it. That fish threw up two white shrimp. I kind of almost thought, since they're on the bottom in 10 feet of water, they might be feeding on shad, but I guess there's shrimp along the bottom. Oh, there's one. I guess there's shrimp along the bottom as well. This one's foul hooked. This one's foul hooked. Yep. Man, nice big croaker. Look at this. That's a big croaker. Man, you don't see croaker this size anymore. That's a big old croaker. Definitely the biggest I've caught in a minute. He will get eaten tonight for sure. He's in here eating the shrimp too. Oh, there's one. Oh. <laughs> Another croaker, look at this. What in the heck? Man, he's got something going on with him. I wonder if my hook cut him. I hooked him right by the eye. This dude, he's gonna feed somebody. Some trout, catfish, crab, something's gonna eat that croaker. Fishing would be a lot easier if the fish did the exact same thing every day. Of course, it'd be a lot more boring. <laughs> every day you gotta kind of figure them out. And it seems like today, what they want is a sharp, hard hop off the bottom. I guess so that power prawn looks like a, a shrimp popping up. That's when they're hidden. If you just kind of bounce it, they don't seem to want it as much. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and call it such an awesome morning. For me, this is the first sign that fall fishing is beginning, and I just absolutely love this time of year. This is going on in all the bayous that enter in the eastern Lee Pontchartrain, and it will be until we get some significant cold fronts. Just so much bait. These fish are not gonna leave until they have to. Well, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to the Marshman Mass on channel on YouTube. Of course, you can do that by clicking that button right there. I would definitely appreciate if you share the video with somebody else you think might like it. All right, until next time, if we don't see you in the marsh, we'll see you right here on Marshman Mass Song.